Hello my Soccer Universe. Well, first what to watch video or first proper video with the new background, although well, it's not very European, but that was the whole idea of it. But I hope you enjoy all the nice bright African colors behind there. Um, for today's what to watch video, given the teams that will be playing from Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, I had actually only two choices of jerseys to wear. The one is Bayern and the other one is Lusk. And if I have the choice between Bayern and Lusk, choose my favorite team, of course. And that's probably my favorite jersey of theirs. And yeah, we have quite some interesting games and we have another league returning and that's a big one. So I'm very stoked about that, but I'll keep that one for last. Although you probably know already which one it is. Let's get right to it. The first thing that we'll uh, talk about is the German Cup, the DFB Pokal, and we have semifinals. We have first Lowly Saarbrücken, which I think not even in the third league, um, but made a remarkable run, beating Köln, beating Düsseldorf, and now they take the next team from the Rhine region with Leverkusen on, on Tuesday at 8. 45 Central European time and then the slightly bigger game between Bayern and Frankfurt. Yeah, if it was in Frankfurt, maybe if there were spectators, maybe I don't see Frankfurt getting anything out of that, especially since a few weeks back uh, Bayern had a very comfortable 5 2 win. Um, well, Frankfurt had for 10 minutes maybe a chance to draw level from being 3 0 down. I don't expect anything but a Leverkusen Bayern final and then a very clear Bayern win to win the German Cup. Um, that's how it goes. Also in Germany, in the second Bundesliga, we have another makeup game between Dresden and Kreuter Fürth, which will be played on the, on Tuesday at 6.30, so kind of a prelude, prelude to the German Cup. Let's say in the German-speaking areas, huge game in the Austrian league, um, Lask against Rapid. Uh, Lask having a little bit of a rough start to the championship round, um, yeah, with points deducted and all that kind of stuff, an unnecessary loss uh, in the first round. I will talk about it, a rather unlucky draw, but in the end, uh, lucky. But at least they're playing well, so I really hope that they play well against Rapid. Rapid at home has been the bane of Lusk. That's the one team that at home they have a really hard time beating. Away from home, no the problem, but at home, yeah. And given the animosity between the leadership of the two teams, that's a huge one. And I cannot tell you, for me, Rapid is the opponent that I like to beat the most. So, yeah. But it has also big table implications because not only is it unfair that I'd find the points deduction, okay, I can live with if it was half of it or whatever. I find it a little bit severe. But now, with half points, that Rapid is ahead of us is just not right. It is not. So yeah, anyway, we Lask can just judge us. Even if they get a draw out of that, I would already be happy, but that means championship, bye, 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 bye. But still, um, there's something in there. It's a huge game also for the final Champions League spot. I think Rapid, it's in Austria race for second spot. Sturm against Salzburg was put in the late uh, slot because Sturm fans were complaining that, uh, you know, Austrian state television can show now one game per round more or less. And they didn't chose any Sturm game, which was caused a huge outrage. Well, now you get a late game. Yes, it's a decent matchup from the names, but Sturm is in very, very bad shape. So the big one is last Rapid. Let's go to the Iberian Peninsula. Uh, Liga Nosh in Portugal has a very strange scheduling. You know, they stretch out the rounds over the entire week. So we got the last one, I think, started... Uh, was it Wednesday through Sunday and now? So now we start with Tuesday again. Um, the big race is, of course, for the championship between Befica and Porto, and they both had not very promising starts. So I'm curious to see what other twists are there in the program. Benfica has to take on Portimonenge, and Porto has to take on Maritimo. So uh, interesting uh, to, uh, to see that. From the names, maybe not, not from table, the last game, but that's not uh, during the week uh, between Prague and Boavista, sounds good. Um, Gil Vicente and Family Cow are newcomers. Could be an interesting one, but you know, uh, it's, 
in Portugal, to, to, to us, especially if I look from Tuesday through Thursday, it's all about the two big boys there. And then on Thursday, finally, La Liga is back and we get a big one. Fortunately, a very late kickoff, so I'm not sure if I will get this into any review video or whatever. Probably not, because I will do the whole roundup. I do not like that La Liga has such uh, late kickoffs. I rather fought right with it, but what can I do? Um, it's the Seville Derby. And from one side, it's great to have this great matchup come coming back. But then you realize this is the one derby that really lives off the crowd. There is no crowd. <laughs> So it will be the weirdest civil derby uh, ever. We'll talk about the other games in the next What to Watch video, which you can probably expect either Thursday morning or Friday morning. Anyway, let me know what you'll be watching. I mean, for me, all the eyes are on the last game, to be honest. Maybe I watch a little bit German Cup action. Um, the civil derby is just too late for the schedule that I have here. I understand they played late, so yeah. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, if you found it informative, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!